Okay, Capricorn. So let's get into your love reading from December 15th all the way to the very end of December. So what is the Capricorn's overall energy? What is this, their overall energy? All right. So overall energy is the Seven of Swords. I do not like that as the overall energy at all. So there's definitely some sort of deception going on when it comes to your love life. Someone trying to sneak away with being sneaky. Sneak away with being sneaky. I'm going to reword that. It's basically someone getting away with something that they know they shouldn't be doing. Sneaking off to do it. Um, could be cheating. Could be lying. Someone wearing a false mask. But basically, your overall energy for the mid of December is someone being deceptive. So we'll keep going. So we have the three of wands reverse. So this basically lets me know. Um, and as I keep pulling, I'm going to get the bigger picture of what's going on here. But this basically lets me know that when it comes to your love life, um, things are not progressing to where you want them to progress to. Um, things have come to a halt. Things are not expanding. Um, this person that you're dealing with, they may have been at a distance from you. You may be at a distance from them, whatever. Um, so I'm not seeing you like traveling to them. I'm not seeing them traveling to you. Just everything is just at a halt. Like nothing's moving forward. And it could be related to this deception. As I keep pulling, I'm going to see what it's related to. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, it's not bad. Let's keep pulling. Seven of Pentacles reverse. The Emperor reverse. The Moon. And it would make sense for me to pull the Moon, especially with the Seven of Swords here. All right. So what I'm seeing here is that... Okay, I'm getting the bigger picture now. Now, I'm going to let you guys know, I don't just read for the cards, but I read for what I feel intuitively. All right? So I'm just putting that out there. So what I'm seeing here is that the person that you were dealing with, they were being deceptive. You know, they were lying to you. They were telling you that they wanted something serious or they wanted to move forward with you, but you found out that they were lying to you. So you pumped the brakes and you were like, you know what, this this is not this is not gonna go any for, further. Okay, so you guys are kinda like at a standstill right now. And then this person with the Knight of Pentacles, especially paired with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, is like, okay, this is the type of person that they will commit, but they're gonna take their slow time to do it. So you basically feel like this person is taking too long to give you what you want and what you deserve, okay? They're moving at a snail's pace. They're just dragging their feet to do what they're supposed to do, right? And with the Seven of Pentacles in verse, it basically tells me that you've grown impatient with them. You're like, okay, I, I did it your way. You know, I was being patient with you. You know, I was like, okay, you don't want you don't want to like take this to the next level just yet. You know, you're giving me all these excuses talking about you going to do it or whatever, but it's taking you like however long to do it. So you you're just kind of sick of it. You're like, I'm I'm not doing this shit no more. Okay. And with the Emperor Reverse, it's like what I'm sensing and what I'm getting intuitively is like this person was basically telling you like you're being too domineering, too controlling about the whole situation. Like you're going about it the wrong way. You're being too aggressive. You're too this. You're too that. Right. Or it could be that their their energy is that, you know, but I feel intuitively that this is what they're saying to you, like kind of trying to like mind fuck you. Like I said before, when I do my readings, I do for what I'm feeling intuitively. What I'm getting intuitively is like when you told this person like, yo, I don't got time for this. This is this is stupid. Like you need to like push this forward or you're wasting my time. It was like they tried to flip it and make you seem like you're the crazy one. OK, but then we have the moon here. So it's like secrets came out. The secret that came out is that. 
well you know what i wouldn't say secrets came out because if the moon was reversed it would be secrets came out what i'm saying what i'm seeing is like when it comes to this person you you feel like you don't quite know them they're kind of a mystery to you you kind of feel like they're not really showing you their true authentic selves um you feel like you you feel like you can't trust them you feel like they're hiding things from you you feel like they're being deceptive okay um so a secret may have not come out yet but you definitely know that they're not being 100 percent the, themselves you know that they're hiding something right and what they're hiding is the fact that they don't want to give you what you deserve at this moment right now they want to take their sweet time to do it you know this is this is pretty much a secret so i don't see cheating you know i don't see another person involved but what i'm seeing is they kind of like they just want to take their time before they even rush into a relationship but you're tired of it you're like i'm not gonna keep waiting you know All right, so I'm going to ask, how does this person feel about the Capricorn? How does this person feel about the Capricorn? All right. The Capricorn is like, you ain't going to waste my time. Okay, so we starting off with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So they basically feel like they're not going to get a new start with you, but we'll keep pulling. Hmm. Okay, I don't like this card right under it. Look at this. Their energy pop up again. All right. Capricorn, y'all going to hate me. Y'all gonna curse me out in the comments. But just know that I'm telling you what I'm seeing. I'm not telling you anything bad because I'm trying to hurt your feelings. Okay? I'm just telling you what I see. So we're starting off with the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Cups in the upright. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright and the Four of Pentacles in the upright. We also have the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the King of Wands reverse. So what I'm seeing here is that basically to sum this whole this whole thing up, they they feel like they're not gonna get a new start with you, and they're actually absolutely okay with not getting a new start with you. They feel emotionally fulfilled. I feel bad saying this, but they feel really emotionally fulfilled without you. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to curse me out in the comment section, but I have to tell you what I'm seeing. Because we have the Ten of Cups here, okay? So they're feeling emotionally fulfilled without you. They're okay with it. They're like, whatever, I don't care. And that's because they're the Knight of Pentacles. Their attitude is, you're not going to force me to give you a commitment. I'm going to do it when I'm ready. It is going to be my idea. It's going to be what I want to do. La, 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 la. I'm a big fat baby. That's their energy. They're the type, they will commit. They're just going to do, like I said, when they want to. And what I'm seeing here, the reason why they're really not fully committed is not just because, like, you know, they want to make sure, like, you know, you're the right person and, and they don't want to rush into anything, but it's also for their own self protection. They're the type of person that's afraid to invest in like anything. They're afraid to invest in like finances. They're afraid to invest in love. They're afraid to invest in friendships. They're the type of person that they rather hold on to whatever it is that they have, whatever is in, you know, their possession, whether it be their money, their heart, their, their uh, loyalty, whatever. They rather hold on it, to it tightly for their life than to invest because they're afraid to take risk. What I'm also seeing here, um, Hmm, feel bad but what i'm also seeing here is that they feel like being with you wouldn't be a good idea because they don't feel like they would have stability with you they don't feel a strong like magnetic 
um, attraction. They don't feel like a strong passion between the two of you. Like it's almost like the fire has sizzled out. Um, yeah, they're not like, oh my God, I'm so like into this person. It's like to them, the attraction and that fire and that lust and passion and all that that you feel for someone else is pretty much non-existent. You know, they also feel like you're overly emotional and they basically just kind of feel like investing more into this would be pretty much like foolish on their behalf. So they don't care. And I do feel bad telling you that, but that's what I'm seeing. Now, I hope that next month in January, I can give you guys a much better reading because I do not like to give Capricorns bad readings because y'all are my favorite sign. But that's what I'm seeing. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you uh, found it helpful. I hope it resonates with you. Um, I will have your January readings, I will say, within two weeks, okay? So thank you for watching. Bye.